We're now about a quarter of the way through building the root cellar portion of our off-grid earth bag house. As we prepare the build site for laying more bags, we get interrupted by an intense monsoon storm. It's much needed rain, but what does this mean for the progress of our house build? How's it going, Greenstatters? Well, if you've been with us through this build, you know that we're four courses up on this project. But there's a bunch of things I gotta do before we can keep going on this project. One, I gotta clear out all these rocks that I pulled out from in the ground, all these mounds of dirt I've been shoveling. All these rocks gotta go. They gotta get out of our way. They're just gonna impede our progress from this point out. So as you can see, we got a ton of rocks right over here, over here, over here, and over here, they're basically everywhere. I gotta go around, I gotta get this area cleared up before we start working again. Otherwise, it's just gonna be in the way and I gotta put them in a place that we can use them because they might come in handy later on. We can always use rocks around here. Woo! Man, this is a lot of rocks over here. I got like a little, start a little rock wall over here. But uh, now, now that the rock moving is done, now I gotta mess with this tarp down below. Let me show you what's going on. Woo! I have been moving dirt for just a little over a day. <laughs> Most of the day, a little bit yesterday, and I'm probably about halfway done with backfill on this thing. There's a lot of dirt moved. But it has just been difficult getting all this dirt moved in this 100 degree weather. Yesterday was probably about 103 degrees, today was about 101. But luckily today the clouds rolled in, got a little bit of rain, not a whole lot, but it was enough just to kind of cool things down a little bit. And that was a huge help. I got a lot of dirt moved and I'm probably about halfway. I'm probably about halfway done. So I'm gonna try and get it done today. Let's get it done. Ugh. Because after that, after I get it all this filled, I gotta tamp it down. Gotta tamp it down nice and tight. That way the wall around the earth bag structure is tight and strong as well. That rain was fantastic and so much needed. We got about an inch of rain during that storm. Probably lasted maybe an hour or less. Just torrential downpour, came down quick, hard, everywhere it was crazy. The wind was nuts, it was intense. Luckily, I had gotten all this back filled by then.
Man, you could just tell that rain is just hitting those mounds of dirt. Cascading down there, you could see how it really kind of melting these piles over time. You would see these piles erode down. You could see how all that water is just running and how it was just running off those piles right into the uh, hole here. All that rain probably saved me a lot of work in tamping this soil down here. I'm still gonna get down there with the tamper and just make sure everything's nice and real solid down there. You can just tell looking around that tamped areas. That looks nice and solid. We'll just keep on going from here. Up and now I'm gonna peel the plastic back. When we build on this, it's gonna be a matter of peeling it back, build on it, pull it forward, backfill, and we'll keep going that way all the way to the top. But it is looking nice. This build is coming along. Where we live, we experience long periods of hot, dry weather, and occasional sudden bursts of intense rain. This can make work outdoors challenging. Luckily for us, earth bags aren't affected much by rain, so it won't impact the quality of our build and we'll be ready to continue on to finish our root cellar in no time.